I really don't want to do it. Lol, it really doesn't look very appetizing. Yeah, worst part is I saw a boy I know walking out. And today I've woken up feeling pretty rubbish actually, to be honest. This is the most miserable looking plate ever. So close to giving up this challenge. They do do fasted cardio, which I'm not a fan of. I swear this week is literally going to kill me. I got some seaweed. One less lonely cauldron sausage. On a night out, I fell over. I used to make a nope. I think I've either chipped the bone or bruised the bone. This is the size of my hand for reference. She's large, she's in charge. I literally pushed myself so unbelievably hard. Over this week, I have lost. Everybody and welcome back to my channel today I am committing <laughs> today I'm committing to a week of super clean eating and gymming working out car doing burning this problem that cannot be fixed for an entire week oh my god it's only a week of your shut up i want to see how much i can transform my body in just one week i'm going to cut out sort of like pastry potatoey carbs and just eat protein and greens moment of silence for all the pasta that is not going to be consumed by me this week it's monday today and as i said before this is the first day of my journey to hell i thought i'd do a little body check right at the beginning of this video if you have an eating disorder have had an eating disorder in the past or you are just someone who was triggered by this sort of stuff please just click off of this video your mental health and the way you view yourself and your body and your just health in general is so much more important than watching a youtube video so if you feel like this could trigger you i'm just saying now please click off it's basically just a little experiment for me to see if i can get in really good shape in one week just arrived at the gym and I really don't want to go in. <laughs> I'm like got really bad cramps today because if you know you know and I just don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. But okay Flossie just go in have an easy session. Oh, I want to do an easy session. Yeah, maybe we could turn this into a drive with me through the McDonald's. No no don't even joke about that. Not funny. Not funny. Yeah, this tastes like washing up liquid. Yeah, worst part is I saw a boy I know walking out. First workout of the week complete. If you need some motivation to go and work out today, here it is. Although I feel like I'm gonna die, I feel really good. Like, I feel like I've accomplished something today. So yeah, I only burnt, oh like I only burnt, it's still quite a lot. I burnt 400 calories. So I'm gonna go home and make some food. So I've just made lunch um, and I'm eating in my room because I've just found my camera in my room and I'm literally so hungry. I feel like I'm gonna explode. Lol, it really doesn't look very appetizing, but I've literally just made a salad with prawn chicken, cucumber, tomato, a little bit of avocado with a tiny bit of ranch dressing on it. Victoria's Secret models and like any model in general, they don't eat a lot of carbs. They just eat a lot of proteins and greens. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I feel like I have to do a taste test, even though everyone and their mum, you know, knows what salad tastes like. <laughs> tastes like salad. Oh, I just doubt that's disgusting. So I'm back and I decided to have something for dinner. And if you think it's weird that I eat in my bedroom, you have every right to do so. Because it kind of is. For my dinner, I've got a really weird dinner. I mean, it's healthy and it tastes really good. I've basically fried up some red onions, some mushrooms, some tomatoes with some Nando's Perry sauce. I've also added like corn sausages bits and Linda McCartney sausages bits in to add some protein. So this is like a zero carbohydrate meal. It's going to be super filling as well as like actually nutritionally dense. Very similar to the likes of what a Victoria's Secret model would eat. Ooh, 
Oosh. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two, and I'm actually feeling really good. I'm feeling really positive, really motivated for today. Today, once again, I'm going to be focusing solely on cardio. I'm going to try and burn 450 calories today in the gym. Obviously, yesterday... I Victoria's Secret models probably definitely don't burp on camera. Obviously yesterday I burnt 400 calories. It's actually midday and I haven't really eaten anything yet. I mean, I've had a baby bowel, but is that really worth showing? I've also had a mug of jasmine green tea, which if you didn't know, has naturally occurring caffeine in it, which is great. <laughs> smashed that that was so hard but i was so proud of myself i literally pushed myself so unbelievably hard honestly when you're working out it is such a mindset like you've got to push yourself because your body is capable of so much more than your mind thinks it is i actually just can't get over how bad i look after the gym like I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet for hundreds of thousands of people to see. I feel like I don't really go over what I do in the gym. Basically, I don't run on the treadmill. Literally, fuck running. Just fuck running. I hate that. Shit. What I do is I walk on incline. I try and keep it consistent walking at 13.5 incline at 4.3 or 4.5. So that's what I'll walk consistently on. And then when I take my one minute break, I'll walk on like four of, of like an incline of five or something for like a minute. And then I'll go back up to 13.5 i don't really have a certain strategy i try to do the first 20 minutes i'll take a minute's break and then from then on i'll do like a 10 minutes and then another minute but that burns about 10 calories a minute don't feel like you have to do this this is extreme i know it is and it's a little, quite a bit of stress to put your body under so yeah i'm gonna go home and shower because i'm literally dripping nice i know and i will see you for lunch Excuse the fact I'm in my dressing gown and my face still resembles a tomato. I'm obviously back from the gym now. I'm about to have a shower, but I'm literally too hungry. I just need to eat now. Before I went, I made a salad because I knew that if I came in from the gym and I was hungry, I would just start reaching for shit. So I made myself a basic salad, pretty similar to the one I had yesterday. We've got cucumber, sun-dried tomatoes, red onion, avocado, corn pieces, and a bit of low-fat ranch dressing. And yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this because Lord knows I need it. It's literally three o'clock and I haven't eaten yet today. Who do I think I am? Right, I'm gonna continue eating this and finish off watching the Ace Family house tour because, oh my God, if you need some motivation to get your ass out of your bed and work hard today, watch their house tour. Jesus Christ. I'm not even exaggerating when I say I finished that salad in 0.2 seconds. And obviously, would this be a true flossy keg video if she didn't have her like 20,000th pot of jelly today? I'm having 10 calorie jelly as a dessert because I am a five year old child and I can't go more than five minutes without sugar. Well, I say sugar, but it's got no sugar in it. Literally, these are so great. It's like four calories a pot. I know it says 10 calories, but they're always less. Do you mind? They're always less than 10 calories. The time is now 6.20 and I am... Um my house is haunted okay time is 6 20 and i'm now going to have dinner i feel like everyone's gonna think it's so weird because i literally am eating all my meals in my room but hi welcome to my life i'm anti-social and i'm literally having the exact same as i had for lunch yeah i'm just gonna eat this i don't really think i'll have anything else to be honest my appetite hasn't really been very big today usually i would want to eat a lot more than this and a salad wouldn't keep me full but honestly corn and like corn pieces in general oh my god they keep me so full for so long if i have corn and eggs together i could go for the whole day without eating there's a lot going on but yeah i just thought <laughs> i would <although> <laughs> did that just like really happen shit. good morning everybody it is day three and today i've woken up feeling pretty rubbish actually to be honest i need to go to the gym i still haven't been yet i'm just not in the best mood i think it's hormones i'm just feeling a bit down on myself to be honest i knew this would happen one of the days so i guess this is the day where i've just got to power through not think about it i also read online last night that the angels actually don't eat before they go to the gym like i feel fucking ridiculous ah! Oh, 
Oh my god, I just walked into one of these. I've actually had some cucumber and hummus and I'm sorry I'm on my phone but my camera's all the way upstairs and I'm way too hungry so I'm gonna grab it right now for my lunch I've got two sausages <laughs> this is the most miserable looking plate ever but I have had cucumber and hummus but I had that whilst these were cooking I was gonna have like some cucumber hummus I've literally got no food but I'm going out for dinner tonight so I'm just gonna get some food on the way home tomorrow I'm just gonna chill eat my sausages live my best life if Gordon Ramsay could see this right now I'd definitely be filing a lawsuit no joke this fib of tawny like. it is day four today and once again as per usual i am off to the gym this morning today hopefully i'm gonna try and squeeze a little ab workout in if i don't have time at the gym like if my parking runs out i'll just do it at home i'm also off to tesco's beforehand because i need to pick up some more jelly the whole of yesterday i went without jelly and it was the most painful day ever i'm sorry yesterday's footage was a little bit crappy but obviously i was out for dinner didn't really want to whack a big camera out kind of awkward kind of uncomfortable not really here for it but basically last night i just had like vegetables with those sauce and it had like chickpeas so it was perfect to go along with my meal plan oh my god excuse all the mess i've got a little cup of green tea brewing over there because that's all i'm gonna have before i go to the gym they do 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 <laughs> they do do fasted cardio which i am not a fan of but to get full effectiveness of the victoria's secret workout i'm doing exactly that Another very, emphasis on very successful gym session. I can't even talk. That was my best one yet. I burned over 500 calories. I feel so good for it. I felt so energized. Like I literally could have gone for longer had my parking not run out, which is so crazy because yesterday I was so close to giving up this challenge. I just felt so weak. I felt so tired. I guess my body is kind of adjusting to the new food, the new lifestyle. And I'm like feeling really energetic. I'm feeling really, really good for it. Like I literally haven't eaten yet. It is... It's 10 past 1 and I feel really good. I feel really energetic. I feel ready to get on with my day. I'm going to go home, make some lunch and I'll see you there. Whilst my corn is cooking in the oven, I just thought I'd show you some of the bits that I picked up from Tesco's. I got some seaweed jelly, more jelly. I got some corn slices. These are spinach and red pepper. These are smoky ham. I got some tomatoes. Tomatoes, I like to snack on a bowl of tomatoes. Call me weird, but... Just trying to be a skinny queen over here. A fat cucumber. Look at the size of this bad boy. And this, which is really exciting. It is bare naked rice. Zero fat, low in calories. Probably the most expensive rice I've ever bought. This was literally like three, four pounds. And it's carb-free rice. Wow, my life is complete. It's basically got 15 calories a serving and it's pure fiber. I'm gonna experiment with this a little bit and let you know how it is because I'm very curious. When I tell you I've never been more excited for food in my life. Oh yeah, baby. Oops. So for my lunch today, as per usual, I've got a salad. This one has got iceberg lettuce, sun-dried tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, avocado, corn chicken, ranch dressing, all the good stuff, baby. I've just finished my salad and that was so delicious, but I am actually going to have a pack of seaweed and some jelly. So many people get triggered by the fact I have seaweed. It's like you're eating crisps and if you love sushi, then it's gonna be right up your aisle. They come in like little thin sheets. I usually just fold them in half and... This is some real ASMR right here. I hope you're tingling. It's now six o'clock, so for dinner, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not hungry at all. I felt almost pressure to prepare a big meal because I know all I've had today is a salad, and for most people, that wouldn't fill them up, but I don't know why my appetite has just gone whoop. I just am not hungry. I literally don't want to be eating right now, but I know I should be a problem. I usually wish I would have, but on the internet, a lot of people like to have opinions, and I don't want people telling me I'm promoting starving yourself because 
trust me a sister is full honestly i'm telling you it's that corn it will keep you full all day i'm just getting on with some editing and some emails but for my dinner i'm literally just having leftover salad from the one i made earlier i promise you tomorrow i'm gonna start making some other more interesting foods i'm gonna play around with the rice i'm gonna make some more like veggie meat dishes but for now i'm just gonna tuck into my salad and i will let you know if i eat anything else throughout the evening Ow, 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 ow. Good morning everybody, it is day five. We are so nearly done on this challenge. I've actually just made my lunch for later. I've got a cup of green tea brewing as well before I go to the gym. Excuse all the mess I've got everywhere, but I use the like zero calorie, zero carb rice. I've got like broccoli, red onion, different seasonings, mushrooms. And I thought I'd best give you all a little taste of it. It tastes a little more jelly. It's not as fluffy as rice's. It's more like jelly. I keep saying that. But that is so good. Literally gives off the same vibe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank me later. Holy Jesus. Christ, I swear this week is literally gonna kill me. I just had a really good workout session once again, but 500 calories, feel really good, feel really energized, can't wait to get home and have some lunch. It's actually currently, oh my God, it's nearly three o'clock, I haven't eaten yet, what the hell? I feel like this diet must have shrunk my stomach because my appetite is literally gone. Like, see if this never to be found again. I also just wanna address, I hope this video isn't too boring because I know I'm doing a lot of cardio. And I know on one of the days I said I was going to do an ab workout, but basically on a night out, I fell over. I used to make no. And I've really hurt my elbow, and I think I've either chipped the bone or bruised the bone. Not ideal. So I can't straighten my arm or put any sort of pressure on it, and I just didn't want to make my arm worse. So I have stuck solely to cardio kind of for that reason. It's gotten really bad these last couple of days. I'm not too sure why, but I just don't want to make it any worse. But honest, I look like I've just taken a shower. That is a problem. So ladies and gentlemen, I am back from the gym and yes, I'm on my phone again because my vlog camera, I have no idea where it is and I'm so hungry. I'm about to die. I've got my lunch. It's my little rice bowl. It actually looks really ugly, but I mean, she tastes good. Mm. Excuse these they're from this swatch of dot almost burped ew they're from this bit of lipstick on my hand i didn't film dinner because i think if there's one thing we've established from this video is that i'm a rubbish youtuber <laughs> for dinner i caved basically my parents ordered a curry and i was like oh don't get me anything don't get me anything so they didn't but i did ask for a few poppadoms so i had some poppadom and i basically had whatever they left over so i had a little bit of rice and a little bit of curry definitely not on the meal plan but you know what i really fucking wanted it so i had it i have for the most part been really good been really strict but i really wanted the curry so i ate the curry and to top it all off i had a donut l1 and it was worth every single mouthful that jammy doughy but that is all for tonight and I will see you all in the morning. Good morning everybody. Today is the last day, well kind of the last day of this challenge. Today is the last day that I'm going to be going to the gym. I have one more day of clean eating tomorrow but today is basically the last full day. I've woken up this morning and I've made myself a cup of green tea and I know the models fast before they work out but I want to have a really good workout today and I feel like eating before could do that for me. So I'm having a little bit of, well, probably the most pathetic breakfast you've ever seen in your life. One less lonely cauldron sausage. I'm gonna have my breakfast, drink my cup of green tea, get myself to the gym and get this day over and done with. Oh my God. I thought the day would never come. I just did my last workout and that was my best workout. Yeah, I burnt over 500 calories in under 51 minutes. I think that's probably the best I've ever done ever. I honestly think having breakfast this morning was what did it. I felt so energized. I could have gone for even longer, had my parking not run out. I wish you can get an hour and a half parking, but I'm not committing to another 
hour in the gym but yeah i'm feeling so good i'm feeling so accomplished i really didn't want to go this morning but i'm going to go home have a lovely bath make some lunch and i will see you all there oh my god tell me this isn't the best thing you've ever seen in your life today's lunch i've got zero calorie noodles they're from the same brand as the rice was from but i've kind of used them as pasta they're packed full of protein i've made my own pasta sauce that's got like vegan sausages mushrooms red onion all the good stuff i have seasoned it to the gods and look at this. this this is the size of my hand for reference she's large she's in charge i am going to eat however much of this i want because this whole meal here is probably under 300 calories the noodles have 15 calories per 100 grams i've probably got like 300 grams here oh bitch. i am so excited for this this is what i love about like finding healthy foods because you can eat a ton like a ton but it's still not gonna make you put on weight Just call me Gordon Ramsay, I mean. This is the best thing ever. I'm just gonna eat however much of this I want. I will probably have a bit left over, but who knows, you know, maybe I'll surprise myself. It is actually quite late, it's 4.30 because my dad was like having a party thing and I had to go straight after I got back from the gym so I didn't have time to eat. Oh my god. Oh my god, you know it was good when you've got pasta sauce on your eye. What the? So, um... Mm, yeah, God, I'm full. It's now five o'clock, so to be honest, I probably won't eat for the rest of the day, but I will let you know if I do. Okay, everyone, so it's now the end of the challenge. I'm on my last day today. However, I am actually not going to be filming today because I'm not going to the gym. All I'm doing is eating, and you guys have seen what I eat. I just feel like unnecessary to have another day. I don't want to make this video too boring. I'm going to put my body update here. And now to talk about how much weight I've lost. Now, once again, if you have watched through this video and you feel like you could be triggered by this, please click off. I cannot stress this enough. This video is purely for like entertainment purposes. I just wanted to see if I could complete the Victoria's Secret pre-show workout and diet plan. And I'm pretty proud of myself because I did. Over this week, I have lost, general please, four pounds which is a lot of weight to lose in a week inevitably a lot of that is going to be water weight however i do feel much slimmer in myself i do feel better now at the end of the week i did have days i'd really struggle and on the days i'd really struggle i had a slice of toast or i had a donut i was completely honest with you guys if i did slip up and i did eat something out because of my job obviously is youtube a lot of it is spent in my room but i feel like if i had a super active lifestyle while i was running around place to place all the time or I had a job that required me to walk loads or commute loads of places, this would not be effective and I would not recommend you do this because your body cannot run on that little carbs for that amount of time. But honestly, the only exercise I really do is going to the gym or walking around Tesco's because of my job. Whilst it worked for me, it might not work for everyone else. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along this journey with me. I hope it wasn't too boring. Like I'm quite worried the footage will be quite repetitive, but obviously it's a routine, it's gonna be repetitive. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. You can subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. If there are any other people's fitness plans like any kardashian people any other models you want me to do let me know because i'll be more than happy to i also just want to emphasize that you are beautiful and you are valued and you are smart and you are intelligent and it does not matter whether you are a size 6 or a size 16 people will remember you for the person you are not the way you looked i love you all so much and i will see you all very very soon bye